it's the weekend, so you know what? We're gonna eat dessert first. I don't think I need the weekend to be an excuse for that. <laughs> Joining us in the CI Kitchen, we have Synergy Home Care, the Sullard Client Care Manager, and PJ Harden, Synergy's number one fan, and apparently a great uh, baker. Well, we're about to find out anyway. Welcome, <laughs> ladies. Thanks for being here. Thank you for having us. Uh, Liz, tell me what the connection is here between Synergy and, and baking pies, and then we'll, we'll jump into the, the actual process here. Absolutely. So Synergy Home Care is all about helping the seniors age in place at home, and where do you bake? You bake at home. <laughs> yes, you do. We do. We're also all about giving back to the community. And so I am a volunteer for Champaign County Senior Task Force, which we do a monthly cooking show for. But we're going to do explain that when we do the taste test. If okay. we can jump right yeah, into okay. the recipe. Well, yeah. So what are we making today? Well, today we are making water pie. This water is. pie. Hold on, water PJ, pie. back, back <laughs> the bus up. I feel like someone's trying to pull something over on I me know. here. Okay. Water <laughs> pie, what this is this? This is a recipe from the Depression when there was a shortage of eggs and other and fruit and things that you could put into a regular pie. So some creative person came up with a water pie for dessert. Well, okay, so I'm, I'm fascinated. I'm gonna have to see how this works. Water goes into the <laughs> yeah. pie. Yeah. What water else? Goes in. Okay. It is go ahead. It is flour, sugar, um, vanilla, and butter. So we are gonna pour a cup and a half of water into here. And we can't promise this is gonna be any good. I'm very curious myself. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Wait, oh, no. you're the guinea pig? <laughs> you're the guinea pig. <laughs> we're all about finding recipes that'll bring a little bit of nostalgia to the senior. Okay. So then we are also going to do, I'm in the wrong bag. That was about to be really weird. <laughs> okay, a cup of sugar. Okay. And then four tablespoons of flour. Is this not the weirdest recipe? It's I'm so fascinated. I'm, I'm waiting. I'm I'm a little nervous for how the outcome's going to no. be with the taste. I, I mean, I grew up learning that water evaporates when it's heated, so <laughs> yes. you feel like yes. you can't really have a pie full of water, so I'm, I'm curious no. as to how this is going to work. Apparently, mm. this is really common back in the day, and, you know, it's pretty admirable because they didn't have those things to right. make the decadent, amazing desserts we have today, and so they still made something sweet. And there's wow. only five ingredients right. when you think about it. It's very okay. simple. Yeah, we're well, looking at uh, some flour, sugar, butter, water, and is that vanilla at the end? Yeah, that's yep. it. Wow. Vanilla. And then okay. your pie crust. So I am just going to evenly pour this over, and you don't even have to mix it. I mean, it is pretty just straightforward. What? I know. Isn't that wild? Okay, we're just dumping all that in there about as evenly as I can. You they say necessity is the mother of invention, and I guess in the Depression, you had a need I to guess. be very creative and thrifty, and Absolutely. they it's, invented a pie I've never heard of. It is a fascinating thing. And then PJ is going to cut that butter into five chunks. Hmm. Oh, we're, we're making you cut that with the edge of a no. fork? Well, Sorry, that's PJ. All right. we, uh, She's going to regret being our number one fan. I'm no, right. that's all right. <laughs> Speaking of being thrifty around here, <laughs> the budget for silverware is very, very small. No. I may have forgot to bring a knife. That's so okay. No, it's, it's technically, we should have had one, too, if only we knew. Oh, okay, may perfect. I do this? Yeah, do oh, it, girl. Or should we do the vanilla Let's mix? do the vanilla first, Yeah, that let's sounds do good. that. That sounds good. Yeah. A couple hmm. of these. So that there. must be where the majority of the flavor is going to come from, is that vanilla, I yes. guess? Yes, and actually, when I was doing my research, it's interesting. You can mix, or you can change up whatever flavor you want to do. Oh, so yeah. you use almond extract or coconut extract or whatever it is to kind of give it a okay. little, cut, don't little stir kick. It. I know. It's you <laughs> don't stir it. Yeah. Okay. No, it it, it, it must mix itself magically when, mm. I don't know when, exactly. Know. All, All right. right. Now, and then you jump. now we have north, <laughs> south. <laughs> We've got five. This is going to be interesting, PJ. Yeah. What's going to be the odd direction? And west and the center. Oh, the oh. center. Sure. All right, that's okay. fair. There we go. You Great are job, here. PJ. Okay, and then this is going to bake up, I'm guessing, for, for an hour. So you are going to preheat oh. your oven to 400 degrees, and then you're going to do it um, for 30 minutes at 400, and then you're going to want to put aluminum foil around the edges so that the edges don't bake. And that's something I do with my pie bakes all the time so it doesn't okay. burn. Me too. And then... You look it's like a professional true. baker to me, yeah. Tim. <laughs> <laughs> Seemed like the right thing to say in the moment. The water pie connoisseur yes. over yep. here. Yes, of course. <laughs> okay, you have any other tips? Uh, enjoy. Okay, yes. well, that's, we plan a, to that's what we're going to do coming up later. And we'll, we'll learn the connection here. Mm -hmm. um, if you want a copy of this recipe, I mean, it didn't Pretty really simple. seem yeah. very difficult. No. We will still have that on CILiving.tv. So, yeah. I'm, I can't wait. This is going to be fantastic. It's served with a side of ice. 